Hello, everybody. My name is Sleek and Fur. Welcome to the stream. I am a variety content dude with big brain. Sometimes when I consume coffee, I digress. Subscribe to the Theory channel, Sleek and Fur, for theory content. And subscribe to Christopher on YouTube for Let's Play content. And join our Discord. Anyway, uh, so build this gate. You can hear noises. Yeah, I'm just going to change screens. So we're gonna create the characters war together, and we're gonna create the character. We're gonna, I'm gonna role play the character. Oh, come up with silly voices. Oh, by the way, obviously I just want to put this there, but disclaimers, chat, this is, this is a mature stream. We explore lots of themes. We talk about things. If there's not for you, avert thine eyes. So there is a lot of mods that I'm running. So I have unlimited party size. I've got a lot of cosmetic mods. Um, I actually have a difficulty mod that causes more monsters to be spawned. So we're gonna play balanced and uh, let's construct a character, but I'll shut up in just a second because we got lore inbound. Yes. Ooh, here it is, here it is cutscene. I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna shut up. Here we are, chat. So we've been infected with a illithid parasite. Ooh. Now the illithid are basically Cthulhu, um, or so, uh, well, Cthulhu is actually eldritch being. So what we're talking about is a race of eldritch beings. But most people understand this as Cthulhu. So I'm just gonna. I know it's not correct, but it's what most people associate it all with. They're kind of a race of Cthulhu's to really dumb it down for some people that don't know that Cthulhu is a person or being um, that is an eldritch creature. So, and I'm not going to bother to explain that every single time, but our character, our player character has been infected with an eldritch or Cthulhu parasite. <laughs> I'm a cut Hulu. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna make a custom character. Now let's take a look at the races for a moment. So we have Elf, Deefling, Drow, Human, Gith Yankee, Dwarf, Half Elf, Halfling, Gnome. Oh, I love that hair. Oh my god. A uh, Dragon Born, and Half Orc. So, yeah, we're gonna come up with this character's lore. How do we want to start this all off? I love making characters that have dragon ancestry. But this is because I just love dragons in general. So I need this character to have dragon ancestry. 
<laughs> so that does mean at least one point into sorcery. So just keep that in mind. And then on the next level, we will actually multi-scale into the correct class that they're going to be if it isn't a sorcerer. Um, uh, our Gertie. <laughs> my sight. <laughs> oh, bless you. So what kind of race do we want? And what will their proper class be? We could have a good time with even just pure sorcerer going into something else or pure sorcerer going or sorcerer going into wizard uh or or sorcery into cleric or cleric into druid um or sorcerer into druid or barbarian um like a barbarian dragon ancestry sounds interesting um, although I've never done a druid character I've never really done a druid character so I, I mean like a dragon ancestry druid that um, eventually transforms into a dragon that would be freaking cool actually I need to search this can druids turn into a dragon holy crap BG3 can druids Turn into dragon. Oh my god, you can! No, you can't! I misread it! <laughs> Wait! You can! But just not with wild shape. You can use shape change. Oh, that's so cool! Okay. Okay, okay. So we need to find shape change to do that. <laughs> Alright, so we have we have something emerging. That's just kind of, what kind of dragon. Would they have been a nice one, silver one? Where where did they come from, chat? Where did this play, where did this character come from? What kind of race are we gonna go with? I don't want to go with Dragonborn. It's too on the nose. I've never done a Gifhanky character before, but I do love Tiefs and Elves and Half Elves. Would we? Is there a unique dialogue for a Githyanki? Hmm. You know what? So, okay, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with Githyanki. The Githyanki have deep connections with dragons, so that my character has like a point into sorcery for that ancestry, where they were born of a dragon. That would be really fitting, I think. Okay, so they're a Githyanki that was born of a dragon. They'll become a druid and scale into that eventually. Also, chuck in at some point one point into barbarian just so that we can get the raw of so or the barbarians barbarians right maybe but I, i'll think about this i'll think about this i love the idea of like a character that like when they rage they they become more dragon like like if they're born of a dragon and they, they have some scales like imagine that they suddenly start sprouting more dragon like features when they rage that's such a cool it's such a cool thought ba -ba -ba -ba, cantrips Oh, you work with Riz, don't you? Yeah, okay, so we need Riz. There's spells. Uh, what kind of spells do we want to start with? I want to see what kind of dragon they, they, they had ancestry with. Were they a golden dragon? Were they a fire dragon, an ice dragon, a poison? Maybe a bronze dragon. Okay. You think it's bronze? Okay, well, let me let me look at what that one is. Where's bronze? Oh, lightning! That's sick. Okay, hang on. Let me go back. And I'll take off magic missile and I'll pop in witch bolt. Um, and so we can we can use thunder. Um, more we'll, we'll we'll favor thunder and lightning magic more so than everything else. So let me just make sure we got that. Oh, there's another. There's also blue dragons which give lightning. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, chat. Do we want? A bronze lightning dragon for the ancestor or blue bronze full Ghidorah. Oh, hell yeah. Full Ghidorah. I love the Godzilla reference. That close enough, bro. Close enough. If there's two of you that are all in on, on that bronze, uh, and the Godzilla reference is just so based. So, you know what? Yeah, okay. Uh, our our uh <laughs> our character's dragon ancestry spans back to an ancient primordial kaiju-sized multi-headed lightning dragon 
<laughs> love it. Love it. Love it so much. Uh, so our, ca our character needs to be very charismatic. Um, uh, this means that they're much more sociable than your usual Gith Yankee. Uh, how intelligent they are, we will come to this. Um, and how, how, how their other stats play into it, we will work with this as well. All right, so we'll think about the main class in a bit. In 5e, Wild Shape allows for no dragons. A high level wizard can transform into a small dragon for a while using Polymorph. Uh, then it says, correction, Kale pointed out in the comments, ninth level druid wizard spell Shape Change does allow transformation. Oh, okay, so we might have to go into... That works really well. Okay, that works really, really, really well. It, it, it works. I, I think we just need to uh, be very intelligent about how many levels we chuck into things. So I'm going to probably keep one level on Sorcerer and then ours to a wizard character that will shape change into the dragon. So wizard it is. So we'll go. Yep. All right. Well, moving on then. Um, full whiz charisma. Yeah. Yeah, if we're just going to go, like, mad power, I'm totally with you there, Soul. Um, this is not my first multi-scaled, um, sorcerer wizard character then. In fact, my first character was a sorcerer wizard. What kind of background does, uh, our character have? I don't want them to have, like, a stock standard gith Yankee kind of thing. Let's, let's just say that they were something else, you know, like, uh, maybe they were, maybe the dragon that raised them and birthed them and created them, uh, gave them a more holistic insight into the world and how it really is and, uh, raised them to think differently from a typical gif Yankee. And so, because of that, they were free from Vlakith's uh, propaganda and um, diction, and uh, they weren't really indoctrinated. In fact, they were just taken completely away from that and totally removed from that because they were raised by a dragon. Okay. So, you suggest charlatan. Expert in manipulation, prone to exaggeration, more things happen for profit. Bending the truth to turning allies against each other. Will lead to greater success down the road. Deception, slate of hand. Hmm. Father got to have that Riz to charm a dragon. Maybe they were a sorcerer. And that's that's the thing. High Riz. Maybe they're just pure sorcerer. But they just didn't have that ancestry. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Okay, so... Charles, I don't know if I want this character to be giga mega manipulative. Um... Uh, Criminal. Less than connections. Profiting from criminal enterprise that will lead to great opportunity. Hmm. Maybe. Entertainer. You live to sway and subvert your audience. So. Hmm. Uh, question. I thought. I. I thought that wizards use int. Don't they use intelligence? Because. I'm gonna let that sit there, chat. Isn't it charisma intelligence I should be building on? If I'm gonna multi scale between sorcerer and wizard for that power? Um, just, um, can we, can we, can we just, uh, clarify that? Can we just get some clarity? Um, hang on. No, 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 because we can't turn into a dragon at level nine, whereas a wizard can, apparently. <sighs> a wizard apparently to a dragon at level nine. I'm a wagon. I carry things. That's actually such a compliment. You have no idea. Oh my god, thank you so much for being so kind, my side. <laughs> um, I'm a hot carry. I'm a pretty hot, yeah, I'm a pretty hot. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Uh, yeah, so wizards do use intelligence, so we need charisma intelligence. Yeah, we need Riz intelligence. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. 
Draconic, please. And bronze, because we want to channel that Ghidorah Kaiju. So, okay. What kind of personality does... I feel like we need a personality for this character, and we can sort of line it up with the origins. I want to think that because this dragon gave this Githyanki an alternate point of view, the dragon was very wise. And it bestowed upon this character a bit more thought uh so this character is highly intelligent very charismatic okay um we're trained in the battlefield for soldier tactic combat have served you well athletics and initial the, the noble you were raised in a family among the social elite accustomed to power and privilege accumulating renowned power and loyalty will raise your status history and persuasion Ooh, riz History into intel. Okay, so Riz and intelligence. Um, see, maybe, maybe that's like the whole noble class thing. Maybe, maybe her father is a mystery, but she, because she was raised by a dragon that gave her a lot of status and privilege among Githyanki. And so she was just very removed. Uh, maybe the father was like this crazy rich sorcerer that, you know, raised up a dragon. They built an empire. The dragon kind of gave her this sort of divinity uh, status amongst mortals, but she's not really like a divine or anything. But um, people sort of see her that way, though she's a noble. And her father is still a mystery, but he dumped a, a bunch of money. And so she's a rich noble. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what is history? Intelligence and Arcana's... Oh, that's just pure intelligence. Pure intelligence. Dragonheart much? You're right. Very much a Dragonheart kind of thing. Dragons do hoard gold. Ooh, you're right. Okay, 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 okay. So, the sorcerer was... The sorcerer's father was a mystery. Maybe... Hmm... <laughs> Okay, okay, I got this. You know that meme where it's like, um, you know that meme where thing, like something, like they, they post a picture of like a creature from a video game that's evidently going to kill you if you mate it, mate with it, right? Like uh, a flame atronach, <laughs> you know? <laughs> flame atronach wife who probably might kill you. Um, what if the sorcerer mated with the dragon, right? and then died in the process, <laughs> but it worked. And so the dragon just hoarded his um, uh, uh, riches, you know? <laughs> and, and so um, the dragon did everything it could to set up the character's life. It maybe, it maybe this, you know, like, it got this whole noble situation, uh, like we said earlier, but it bestowed all of its wisdom and in, uh, intellect upon the child, so that it would uh, it would be free of the Githyanki, I guess, you know, diction, as I said earlier, and um, because of the whole sorcerer like thing and how they met, and somehow this sorcerer was a Githyanki. <laughs> Right? So maybe the dragon was just like, ah, yes. Well, we've done our thing. Um, and I'm not really a Githyanki, so I don't particularly care about your ways. So maybe that's how it all kind of happens. And so this character is Boulderin. Inherently Boulderin. Because that's just... Yeah, and they're a Boulderin noble. Because the dragon is removed from Githyanki culture anyway. Um, but it knows about everything to do with Larkith and the whole situation. And it doesn't want that for the child and, you know, the whole paternal instincts. So it sets up this child to become a very wise, powerful, a benevolent, uh, noble of some, well, they hope this, this character will be benevolent, this child will be benevolent, right? Uh, and so because dragon blood runs through this character's veins, they do have like all the knowledge and wisdom bestowed by the dragon but like what if there's a little bit of ambition in there and sometimes it takes or override it takes control or it overrides but like our character's judgment 
And so sometimes the character has to apologize for that and make better of what they they did, you know, like bit of a situation of do the ends justify the means sometimes. Um, <laughs> so maybe they make like a few derpy like uh, choices that are a bit selfish and then they're like, oh, yeah, OK, you know, that was kind of a bit hmm. right. Like may maybe it's like, oh, well, in hindsight in their case because they're also a noble and this might mean like maybe maybe they just don't experience enough of like the difficulties of the common person and as they as this character progresses they see the squalor they see the, the, the poverty they slowly become less and less selfish over time um their ambition um makes way to compassion I think that kind of like solidifies the whole background, the noble and the personality a bit like the character meets well, but they just don't do well sometimes. Well, okay. Chat. What if they had like a different, a strangely different skin palette because of the whole dragon thing? What if they did? What if it was like, they get confused for like a tiefling or something. Uh, dragons are paddling coastal regions where they liked to dwell along the sea to make use of their aquatic abilities. I love that. I love that. Okay. All right. Well, what if, you know, the whole Gith Yankee green palette mixing with the bronze scale color causes the skin palette of the child to become more red? What do you think of that? I, I, I love the idea of this character being confused for a tiefling half the time because of that whole dragon ancestry thing causing their skin palette. G Ghidorah came out of a volcano too, which is part of the inspiration. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I like it. Do they have battle scars? Uh, no, because they're noble. How mature do we want them to be? Or maybe not, because, you know, the whole dragon ancestry thing maybe just enhances the Gith Yankee physiology. Maybe this character is almost ageless, um, past like 25. They just never look any different. Freckles, do we want freckles? Vitiligo pigmentation. Did they get some strange pigmentation due to the dragon thing? Now, bear in mind, chat, nudity is turned on. So again, disclaimer, this is a mature stream. If you are not for that, it's all good. You can turn away and follow moi. Yes, this is a mature stream from the standpoint of the content. I do not profess to be mature as um, Facebook has said that my mental age is negative 13 many times. <laughs> uh, what kind of tattoos does this character have? Do they even bother with tattoos? Or maybe they do and it's just really pretty. Yeah, okay. So I think we'll go with the, the flower pattern on the side. Um, what kind of color? What if we went with a sort of... I mean, black, just, it does work. It illuminates the... The, the patterning maybe maybe it's maybe it is just black it's a simple black flower pattern um piercing we do have a tremendous amount of piercings chat something something draconic i think something electric bronzy oh red is getting there blue maybe blue for lightning Perhaps I will consider that. Something blue. Ooh, glass drops. That looks very pretty. Purple. Purple for royalty, nobility. Hmm. Red. Red. Chat. Red. Oh my goodness, yes. Red. Um, because it just suits the whole bronze dragon thing but i could go for blue if i could find it because then we could go with electricity so what do you think red or blue you want to go with the red you think the red yeah okay we, we can go with the red uh because red like it feels like it, it, it leans towards the whole bronze dragon that is electric so does the blue because electricity but it contrasts nicely against the red so just whilst 
just whiles. Um, chat is considering their choices with the piercings. Gonna real quick just take a look at the eyes. Do we want heterochromia? Because of that whole dragon thing. Ugh. Blue gives too much Harley Quinn vibes for you. Off air. Hmm. Okay. Let's think about this. Electricity. I want it to give me an electricity kind of vibe. Ooh, that's cool. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um. And blue. It's like black. Uh. Okay. Let's try. Um, what would go? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's very cool. What if it was like blue and bronze? But like that bronze dragon electricity kind of thing. And because like maybe that whole dragon ancestry thing, her morph her physiology is just a little bit different. Her eye whites are actually black. I, I like that. I could go with that. We could we could lean into this. Um. And for the makeup. Ooh, okay, so she's a knowable. She's a knowable. Uh, we need to think carefully about this. She's a knowable. So she should be like well groomed. Maybe those I do like those drop like those little circles there. That does look quite distinct, but it doesn't look tribal. And it also accentuates the eyes a bit more amidst everything that's going on with the like scales okay so lip color glossy because she actually applies makeup to her lips to some degree because of that whole noble thing um but does she apply something specifically to her lips a color per oh my god that's way too <laughs> that's way too much <laughs> ah this is terrifying <laughs> um that kind of look all right See, this, this, this looks a little bit better. A little, little bit better. All right, now let's sort out her hair. Well, that's very noble. That's quite noble. Yes, perhaps. Um, what is this? Whoa, that's like warrior braids while still maintaining like an air of elegance. I just don't feel like I'm getting the right vibe. Maybe she's got like that whole flowing, long, kind of princessy kind of hair. What is this? Ooh, that's like, oh, it's kind of like Carlax hair in a, in a sense. But then I get like an Astarian vibe <laughs> with the top bit. That's incredible. All right, so I think it's a choice between F14, F14 V2, F14 V3. And F18. And maybe F15. I think I gotta go with F18, chat. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with 18. Yeah, you like it too, Sol? Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Let's figure out her hair colors. I want something that complements the theme of electricity, but I also want it to complement her skin palette. Maybe maybe she just looked her Gith Yankee hair color. Um, I don't think she's sterile, but I just think maybe there's just like a bit of a a thing there where it like it just affects her hair color to some degree in that she has less of it because dragons don't have hair, although dragons can shape shift into whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, maybe it was just an accident. Maybe the dragon just got a little bit too spicy between herself, the dragon and um the sorcerer get Yankee and like maybe somewhere in the process of things it shapeshifted back into a dragon and things got bad and the guy just kind of died in the midst of everything <laughs> you know <laughs> could go with a bronzy blonde oh yeah let me let me let me workshop it let me workshop it dude Ooh, I mean, we're getting kind of into like red territory. One sec, I wonder if I can 
Can I affect how intense it is? No, I cannot. I can only... <sighs> oh! Correct, good sir. Uh, one sec. I'm going to stick that red back, and then we'll go... Yeet. Whoa. That is not... Yes! Okay, I think we got it. Yes, I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Um, graying. So facial hair, uh, non <laughs> draconic blood, blood bloodline. So, how bright do we want these scales, or dark do we want them to be? Do we want them to be bright, dark? Let's just open up all the colors to see what sort of fits the bill. I feel like that is too Superman like or too Goku like. Well, thank you for the hydration. One second, I'm just gonna get my bottle out. Um, ebony skin. It's ebony. Is ebon like black? Oh, you're right. Holy crap, that looks amazing. I think we're gonna have to go with that chat. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So myself and y'all are included in this process of creating this D and D character. So just for the backstory, the character is um, a gif Yankee. That was born from a dragon and a Githyanki sorcerer having a child. The Githyanki sorcerer died somewhere in the process of uh, her conception. Because the dragon, as much as it was very happily rizzed up and it shapeshifted into a Githyanki to make things a bit more safer, it kind of got a little bit too excited and couldn't maintain its form. So he kind of died at the end there. <laughs> but um, the sorcerer was very rich. And so, um, the dragon ordered all of his finances and then, uh, <laughs> squished it indeed. So she, the dragon, uh, hoarded all of his gold and, um, poured all of its wisdom and finances into raising this Githyanki, um, in a way that would be totally different from all the propaganda that Vlakith was forcing, is forcing upon the Githyanki. So this... This Githyanki has a very different upbringing. They were raised uh, and uh, trained to become very wise, and they have a noble life somewhere as a Baldurin. Uh, so now we need to name this character. So yes, uh, and their person out because they have that drag draconic bloodline. Then all that with they're inherently wise, a charismatic, good natured, but because of that dragon bloodline. There's this ambition that sometimes overrides and this selfishness to want things that overrides at times. Uh, and so they make mistakes, but they try to make amends for them because they're inherently kind. Um, it's sort of a case of, I mean well, but I don't do well all the time, you know. And uh, this character is raised and lives as a noble. So they're only just going to start to discover poverty, the squalor of Faerun, and as they progress through the story, they be, I guess um, I want their personality to grow and I want them to be from like, I want ambition to give way to compassion, if that makes sense, over time as we play through. And I'll try and put on a voice. I want them to have like a kind of noble, very charismatic kind of voice that is a bit maybe, as far as the accent, a bit more proper English accent, like, ah, oh, yes, I see, you know, uh, maybe something like that. A bit more like a star in, but a lot less about murder. <laughs> and let's go hurt someone, <laughs> you know, a bit less of that. A little bit more of a, hmm, I wonder what I'm going to do today, you know, <laughs> kind of something like that. Posh. Yes, English, posh, elegant. Okay, so what will we name this character that was born of... A dragon and a and her um very dead uh, father by Snoo Snoo. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, they are a Yankee, so maybe the dragon might factor that a little bit. Uh, maybe the maybe the dragon sees the their previous lover in this child to some degree from the context that like. You know, the same cheekbones, the same kind of face in some way or another. And maybe they want to be reminded of them a little bit from the con from, in, in, from the context of, like, family. So, 
like maybe this child knew the father kind of died accidentally to some degree because they're old enough to know about the birds and the bees and the dragons and the sorcerers um uh maybe maybe it was all explained it's all like water under the bridge um like the dragon was very open uh so <laughs> maybe they were named after in a, a, a feminine way their parents father so maybe 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 that maybe that um let's think about it. let's workshop this so they have a bronze lightning dragon for a mother the father was a sorcerer who was very very high in riz uh <laughs> and they were get yankee so let's think of get the yankee names uh <laughs> um Vankle Dyer? Pinkle Stick. I can't even remember. read that. Pink the Scale. Il Fankil Il 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 Fankil Il Fankil Dyer. Il Fankil Dyer. Il Fankil Dyer. Okay, there I got it. I got it. I got it, Kelsey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pink the Scale. Because anyway, there we go. I got those. It took me a while. Oh, that. That broke me. Uh, what if Dragon just gave her a dragon name? Let's try that. Uh, wagon. Wagon my ball. Uh, no. Nope. Um, or it's a, maybe it's Smogat. Oh my god. Ubugan, you're killing me. <laughs> That's amazing. Hmm. How about Alessandra? Because giraffe a dragon? Eh? Eh? Maybe it's a play on that because, like, maybe the father's name was alexandra or alexander that's a pretty like maybe maybe the sorcerer's name was a very like enigmatic name or it and it sounded like when i think of alexander i think of alexander the great the conqueror the one who conquered the world maybe um maybe this githyanki was uh named alexander and um, so alessandra and draw for the dragon it was just simply be alessandra because maybe it's not a case of last names oh no wait but she's a noble she has to have a last name because only nobles and royalty had last names that makes sense last name um because in medieval, medieval periods people just had a first name until the black plague made it practical for everyone to have a last name so okay look when you when you have a name that ends with s-o-n it means um son of right so i kind of maybe something to do with oh alessandra dragonkin uh or drakekin no um that's kind of like a title a form title isn't it no you can't have that last name what if it's like a play on the kind of dragon that it was what if the last name has to do with the type of dragon they were Let's think about this. Bronze, dragon, and lightning, and Ghidorah, fire volcanoes. What is the Greek word for lightning? Can anybody give me that word? Because if it's actually um, a cool sounding word, we might give her that name. Keraunos. Ooh. Who's the Greek goddess of lightning? Astrape and Bronte. Oh. So, Br Bronte? means like thunder and a strape means lightning as well but that's just like oh because she's the goddess there's two goddesses one of lightning and thunder i get it now what if it's like a alessandra a strape bronte like what if it's a hyphenated last name oh there's a word limit <laughs> i guess it's alessandra a strape um maybe alessandra is actually the the future goddess of lightning. Hmm. Hmm. And she could tap into thunder as well. Hmm. We're doing it. Um. What if we make the protector based off the father? Yeah. That's that's it. That's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it literally based off the father. And he's gotta be a bit more green. Remarkable. Good luck. Instincts. Oh, yeah. Don't be That's afraid. Voice of my character. Oh shit! I almost forgot about my character's voice. Where to next? Hmm. Let's hope. Nope. Be wary. This. It's opened. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Ooh, that 
that's cool. This magic feel. Yeah, it's it's also posh. So, um, Alessandra's Astra Alessandra Astrape's in-game voice versus my voice. <laughs> it has been decided. The father is going to be the guardian appearance, um, like a face in a dream. Chat. Remarkable. Truly. Yes, I love the voice. Okay, and he needs to be more green. Like, far more green, so that we get that, like, whole mixture thing. Um, this is, like, very superfluous, by the way, but, eh. I digress. Maturity. Older. Older. Wrinkly ass. Um. With some fraggles. Actually, nah. Yeah? No. That's too orcish. Um. Actually, maybe no. Maybe maybe he was like somewhere in the middle. And like, he's very handsome and he rizzed up a dragon. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, love. I think his eyes are fine. I think the issue will be his hair. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, hell no. <laughs> no, 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 uh, 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 I'm a bit speechless. Um, somewhat. Yes, I think something kind of. Ew, nah. He's he's gotta be he's gotta be handsome. That oh, they just the uh, gif Yankee lead his hair. Nor, nor, kind of. I don't know. I'm trying to pick handsome. It's not working yet. <laughs> well, that's kind of. Yeah, we're kind of getting. Yeah, we kind of getting somewhere. Sort of. I think that's the Gale hair. Isn't it? Yeah, it might be. Yes, I'm with you there. I, I totally get that one. Totally get that one. Um, We need to remember that he was a, like, fabulous. A fabulous. He rizzed up a dragon. Fabulous up a dragon. Yeah, I think something like something like this. <laughs> uh, we go rancid. No, I don't think so, buddy. Uh, hair color probably is best like this, but um, it probably is best white. Um, facial hair. Oh my god. That's that. That's pretty rizzy. That's very. <laughs> it's pretty. That's very. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, oh my god. Um, uh, uh, it's got a lot of riz. Maybe he's got that beard riz chat. Majestic. Yeah. There we go with the very long majestic beard. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, a, a peak riz is a pathway to many things considered unnatural. Love it. <laughs> oh no. I've developed a snort laugh chat um over over time. Uh I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. Earsings. Uh Maybe he has like like the looped yeah, that. Oh, he looks too much like a goblin with that. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, still too much like a goblin with that. Dark moons. Ooh, 
Ooh, the serpents? The dragons, maybe? But you can hardly see it, so that's upsetting. Barovian. Bar oh, yeah, that works. That's a... Uh, you may not like it, chat, but this is what peak Riz looks like in a Githyanki man. <laughs> okay, all right, this is it. Our adventure will begin, I think. Last, last portal. Oh, he's got, I didn't notice that. I like that. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I rank. I rank. I rank. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe we need, oh, I forgot about his tattoos. He's got a forehead tattoo. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, chat. I don't know. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, burr. What about... Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, mm, I mean, that just makes him look like a crazy cultist guy. That doesn't really come thing. You can't even see it under the beard. Oh, that, that's kind of badass, warrior-like. But he's a, I don't know. He's a sorcerer who's, um, very charismatic. <laughs> I don't know. He came in a dream. Oh, that's that's kind of like tribal and wise and very. Yeah, it could work. I think it could work. I think this could work. So, um, Alexander, that's what you looked like. This is what Alexander looked like, chat. Uh, now, how this guardian sort of is to them. I just I want it to be like a faint memory or a dream for the. Look for the player character for Alessandra Astrope. I want the image of her father to be sort of like this faint dreamlike thing that just kind of comes to her. Um, and I want it to be sort of projected into her mind initially. Like she knows because of um, her mother projecting uh, uh, the appearance of... Um, her father and um explaining like how interesting he was and how cool he was and just explaining like through their love you know she was born but he died um kind of thing um <laughs> they're the, the dragon just sort of like explaining the birds the bees the dragons and the sorcerers in like this very i, I want to say wholesome kind of storytelling kind of way to the character as they grew up you know? Uh, but yes, Alexander. Peak Riz chat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's get into it. I think we could start our adventure finally. It's been two hours, 26 minutes. We finally, finally constructed our character, their lore, and the character's personality, their origins. I'm going to try my best to roleplay my character with you guys. And include everyone in it. Um, this is going to be so much fun. Uh, bearing in mind chat. So flashing back. A player character got infected with an illithid or Cthulhu parasite. We don't quite know yet what it does. But we're about to discover. And we're in a very dangerous predicament. We've been captured by the Cthulhus. The eldritch abominations. The illithid race. And we have been experimented on. They have put a parasite in us. Through our eye holes. Let's venture for. I'm gonna shut up because it's a cutscene.
Oh, I think that's the cutscene chat. I think that's the cutscene. So you can probably come back to the microphone again. I could be wrong there. I could be wrong there. I think we have one more thing to come. Ship of uh, Illithid, uh, I guess, Hive or Cthulhu ship chat. And um, it's literally made of flesh and Magitek. It's really cool, but also very freaky. Um, and Alessandra's just awoken. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Where are we? Oh my. How peculiar this place is. <laughs> She kind of just stumbles about, asks all these questions, and then she sees the nursery and peeps her head in. This is the pool it came from. The gay parasite that has violated your mind. Violated? What? Investigated, I guess. I don't want to stick my hand in that. That's nasty. Oh, Knowledge. Good thing when dollagable. Whoa! 18! Nice, 21. Absolutely destroyed that roll. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. What happens when we... What's the... Kind of freak. Up, up, uh, ow, ow. <gasps> ow, that was very dumb. I die, ouch. That took the edge off. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. And they're ready. Um. Okay. That sucks. Our curiosity. I guess our curiosity got the better of us there, hey? Um. Let's go loot this guy. Um. Oh, wait, I mean, like, here's another thing. Good. Like, I, I feel like Alessandra would be selfish enough to loot people's bodies. So, I mean, yeah. It's like a genuine Someone question. Like, out. looting is a mechanic, right? And Cursed generally do it. But a lot everything. of people. Don't consider, is their character actually comfortable life. doing that Ooh. act? I feel like my character would. Oh my god, a short rest. It's alright, I'll come back. Because those things, there's, that's a restoration station that heals you through Cthulhu. Eldritch magic. Ooh, a sphincter. It is literally a sphincter. Amazing. Uh. Huh. Okay. So I guess we go this way. Let's just try and explore and see if we can find a way to take control of the ship, I guess, and escape. This place looks like it's been thoroughly messed up. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for that hydration. Redeem, Kelsey. I hear singing. Okay, occasionally weird voices. Are these brain jaws or something? It's gonna go first. Neural apparatus. Should I? It, there is a voice. Doesn't do anything. Huh? Doesn't do anything. Oh. I see. Oh. Epic dragons be cool. Get them, my draconic brethren. Fight back! Fight back against the Cthulhu oppressors. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right. I mean, this is really epic. I mean, just like look for a moment, that look for a moment. Like, how cool is that? We're in the hells. This is this is the hells, I believe, that we are in. I don't know why the uh, the the Elithid decided tra traversing to the hells was a good idea. Uh, I gotta have a drink of water. One sec. A fellow did yank. Walks and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing. This is my first sword. Okay. And a flash of your face 
seen through the gift's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> we just shared a brain cell, Lazel. You are no thrall. Blackith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, look, Azel is, like, just so you know, she's very into the teachings of, uh, like, the gods, and uh, especially Blackith, currently. What made you think I was a thrall? We need to figure this out. Who are you? Have you forgotten yourself? Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. We can do nothing until we escape. That uh. must be our priority. First, yeah. we exterminate the Indians. Okay, then okay. We I need to get more into the role playing of this. The ship. Uh. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Lazel just. Drops a bunch of, like, very technical speak on us. Before saying that she wants to pick a fight with these demons. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, I guess our character's like, Oh, oh okay, you look, um... You want to pick that fight? All right, we'll look, um... You know, the... You seem to be friendly enough, so I... I a big, strong... Uh, worry lady like yourself. Yes, I think it's quite a good idea that we join sides together. You bow. Um, you but Lizelle just literally picks a fight with somebody and doesn't even think twice about it. So, I have now after doing that little kill, position Lizelle there so that I can just tr triangulate her to be the tank. Survival is all that matters. Then we'll position just Wait, behind Lizelle. And we will cast perhaps Witch Bolt upon the imp. Oh, that's an insta gib. Do we have any movement left? So I might just. Yeah, there we go. Um, th this game is very important when it comes to positioning and um, tactics. Really quite important that you position well the, the characters and the roles they have. So do we want to do a normal attack or a rush attack? Well, a rush attack will possibly push this guy off. He's flying. How do we knock him off? <laughs> you know, uh, dazing might be a good one though. Let's try and daze him. Probably will insta kill. Oh no, it won't. Uh, hamstrung does what exactly? Reduces their movement speed. Ooh, I like that. Seventy percent with disadvantage. We kill him. So I guess regardless of the disadvantage, it doesn't you matter. To the I put in battle, did I? <laughs> I am only born of a dragon, you know. Um, not just some rich posh child, I'll have you know. <laughs> I can do a thing or two with a spell. Um, waiting. I crave blood. Oh, she craves blood. She might as well be Monty. Hello, my name is Lazelle. I crave violence. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Brains and giblets. Nim 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 nim. More healing stations. Interesting. Well, I mean, it's always good to lead with your best foot forward. What's in this? Oh yeah. And this will go to Alessandra. And uh, all right, the sword can go to Lazelle. Now, I want to try and get the Flaming Greatsword off the demon guy, so we're going to probably end up save scumming um, during that fight chat, so just keep it all... keep it all mind and keep it, keep it, keep it there in your minds that I'm... I do not intend to do an honor run. I will be save scumming where it feels valid. What's this? Can't read this script. Another mystery. Oh. Mm. Oh my god, my arcana failed three times in a row. Sheesh! Just 
Just have a look at my character sheets. Uh, 15 con in 12 cal. Yeah, okay. I will resp um, uh, thingy in a bit. Oh, exploding. We want this. Yes, we do. Pick it up. Let you out. Okay, so I might make a save here. I'm gonna make a quick save here. Um, we want... This is Shadowheart. She's an amazing character. Amazing cleric. Really powerful. We can save her. Don't waste time on Istik. We must go. Well. <laughs> oh. Um, rest well, my dude. And um, we'll see you next time. Enjoy the VOD when it's up. I will try and put it up immediately. Um, okay. Lazelle, don't waste time on the Istik. We must go. We're compassionate. Uh, to a Like, we're inherently good-natured. We mean well. We don't always do well. Um, so I think my character would try to save Shadow here. Um, because we do inherently mean well. Uh... Okay, so, um, all right, so, uh, d uh, d uh, you need help, uh, our character says, <laughs> um, let me see what I could do. So, we have that sorcerer background, um, a uh, good night, soul, eat well, rest well. I feel like we would go with that sorcerer arcana approach. Hmm, there's magic at work here. Let's determine what kind. Okay, do we fail this roll? Oh my god, we pass a flying color. Oh, 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 oh. Ruins. You feel them drawing energy from the console near oh. to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. I said maybe we need to go. No, there's someone here, Lazel, that needs rescuing. Look for the latch that might open the lead. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. But this no. ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Uh, that console. Let me see what hurry, I can do. Please. Okay, Shadow. We we will hurry. With um, uh, what, what's that? Oh, with great haste, we shall. Make way to the console. <laughs> oh god. I'm starting, I'm starting to get a feel dormant. like that. This whole roleplay thing. The console appears dormant. Um, Alright, so we are smart, uh, charismatic, uh, sorcerer, inscribe the device with the glyphs you can sense from the pod's warding runes. Ah, yes. Hmm. My magical senses tell me I need touch this with magic. <laughs> mm. The console hums to life. The console hums to life. Arcana, take a close look at the powered up console. Alright, so let's go with the Arcana. Ten! Oh, good thing I saved. Oh, that's so shite. Hang on, hang on. We... Whoop. 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 Ah! 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 My bad. I keep forgetting that the hotkey buttons for like quick saving, change, quick save, and quick load. Oh no, they're like the same as like my buttons for like thing. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, I'm gonna have to manually. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just manually use the screens. It's fine. Um. Okay, so let's try this roll again. Oh my god, so bad! So bad, so bad! Why? Why so bad? Why Why are we failing this role, chat? Oh my god. I don't know why we're failing this role. But this is- this is our, like... This is our calling! This is sorcery! What a what are? Hello, welcome to bed. Hey, fam. The console it's been a while. Hope you're life. good. Um... Yeah, we're just having a good old fun time chilling and celebrating the fact that I am alive. As, um, <laughs> yes, things happen. Oh my goodness. Again. Wow, we can close beat at the time. This is some pretty hardcore save scumming right now, chat. I'm doing a shamelessly. I'm shamelessly save scumming right now. But you know what? Like, again, I admitted 
We're not doing an honor run here. I have no problems doing a save scum. Um, heater and Tether where I think it's valid. And Shadowheart is really powerful. So, like, it's very much a valid thing. So, we want Shadowheart. Hey! Congrats on Big Alive. Thanks, what? It was... Um, you'll see in the you'll see at the very start of the stream in the replay, but like um, things happen. I had some health stuff like come up, and I am only today Perhaps it will open the new uh, pod. normal, so to speak. Okay, <laughs> so place your hands on the console. Um, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. Oh, the parasite. Oh no. Then discomfort fades. Oh, good lord. And sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Um, Elithid Wisdom? Will the pod to open? Oh, it's, imagine if we fail this roll, chat. Imagine if we fail this roll. <laughs> yeah, good lord. But before I do this roll, though, so yeah, long story short, Water, like, um, yeah, so I had some pretty serious ailments that came up, like, a bit over a week and a half ago. And they got to a very serious, like, point. And, uh, I thankfully recovered from it all after help from some doctors. So, I'm good. I'm good now. I'm great now. I'm fine. Now. Uh, so, we're that, yeah. If I roll at one, I must accept. No, bugger off. Well, I said we're safe scumming. Oh my god, Nightside, you bastard! You jinxed it! How did you do that? I'd say you jinxed it. No. No, you jinxed it. Might sight bugger off. I already said I'm safe scumming. I will time you out if you keep doing that. I then discomfort fades. Yeah. And another sensation washes over you. Connection. You feel the now, as I did say earlier, I'm not going to save scum for everything, but where it is valid, I will be. And yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Oh, okay. okay, so... Ooh, that's gotta... That's got to hurt. <laughs> she let it face first into the ground. You might very well be in the next few days. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you're a gift. You're a gift? Why did you help me? Uh, you do know that, like... Just because they look a certain way doesn't mean I am a certain way, right? Uh, uh, because you and ask. Do you expect what in return exactly? Guess Yankee aren't given to charity. That's a bit racist. <laughs> uh, must I watch something? That's what your kind does. They take. I'm still. I kind of have you everything. Did help me. <laughs> we both need all the help we can get. Let's try to get off this thing together. Uh, uh, you are an odd one. I think I would say that. I'm intelligent enough to say that. Uh, first you beg for help, then you cast suspicion on me, and now you want to join. You are an odd one. I feel like that might tell her not to. But I suppose I am. Fitting company for a decidedly odd situation, wouldn't you say? We both need to get off this thing. Let's help each other. Uh... One moment. Sure, you could join us. <laughs> I just wanted to poke... Rib her or poke her a little bit for, you know, just being a little bit... Just a little bit presumptuous there. Uh, one moment. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What's that? Come on, time to. I feel like I wouldn't give a shit. She pro it's just like, oh, it's, uh, it's just a thing that you have, whatever. Finally. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Oh. Lead okay. On. Uh, one sec, chat. Sir. Path lies before me. 
let's take a look at what's going on here. Oh no, sacrificed cultist. Uh, what is this? Good lord, do you need help? Flickers in oh his no, eyes. he's brain dead. <laughs> he seems totally unaware of his oh no. surroundings. What about you? Right? Man oh. isn't dead. It's in the name. Sacrifice totally cultist. Unresponsive. Oh, he's Eccles of the Absolute. These people actually chose their fate. Ugh. That's not good. Okay, then. So they actually chose to, to, to like, give up their brains, like, I guess. <laughs> Um, plant, vegetable, plant. Can I in the jar. open that? Pick lock? By you? Do you? Okay, I guess not. Still alive, so that's uh, you look good at carrying door. things. I want you to pick that up. Mm, brain times. jar. Okay, so there's a sphincter door there and a sphincter door here. Yeah, Let's nothing. take a look at everything. Um, I just need to get an orientation. I can't remember. Oh, okay. This is continuing on to the helm. We probably should probably should go this way for a second. Plant. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're in power. Okay. This is fine. You seem friendly. Uh, Sumata. I think that goes to Lizelle. Oh, what is this chat? Is this another character that we can save? Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. Can we save her? She doesn't notice you. Okay. See if we can save this person. Um, what's that body? Oh, a cartilaginous chest. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, oh. Eldritch Rune? Yeah, I guess we picked that up. Unlock those controls next to the pod. Don't know if I want that bottle yet. I'll take it anyway. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Place your hand on the console. You Maybe it works the same way as um, how we save Shadowheart. A presence connected to the pod. Commanding the person inside to change. <laughs> oh, change! This is not good. We need to release her. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That is so good. Oh, that, that's change really not good! Her. Change to the pull of a lever. Ugh, that is nasty. That is so nasty. Player stares at you, weak and dazed. Oh, man. <laughs> we couldn't save her. Hi. Do you talk? Well, that's a nice compliment. I appreciate that compliment. Thank you, Idyllic Devourer. Very nice of you. All right, all right. So where to next? I think we jo just go straight to the helm, chat. You just go straight for the helm, and um. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll yeah, I was trust my say. own judgment. Kenyank. Nobody said one in particular was in charge. Thank you very much. But we're gonna work as a team, Lazel, and that. Beads. There's no I or you in we. There is just us working together to win as we walk through this wall sphincter. Uh -oh. This looks tough. This is going to be very tough. I'm going to save here. So this is this is another spot where I, I did specify I was going to save scum. I want to get a very specific item in this fight, and it's a very difficult battle. Oh, oh 
that's cool. Draw. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Do it. Uh... We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Oh no. Alright, so the way I think I did this last time perfectly, I, I killed off these guys first, then I kind of let them hurt themselves until they were that low that, uh, yeah. So I'm going to put Lazel out the front and tank. Um, but you see that great flaming greatsword? That awesome fl flaming greatsword he's got. We want that chat for Lazel. That's why we're gonna try and save Scum here if we need to. So, target is too close. Disadvantage. Um, do we want a pommel strike, rush attack? Let's try rush attack. He's threatening. Oh, that's an insta. Almost an insta kill. Okay. Yeah. But he's uh, he's out. Oh, does he just KO? He's KO. Hells, yeah. What's he got on him? Nothing. Um. All right. I think we'll end turn. Um. All right, Shadow Heart. How do we position you? I think we need to be very careful. We'll put you just behind the fiery burning bit here. Because that deals burn damage to anybody coming near us if they want to come in front of us. We have to deal with you, the lesser imp there. Um, I want to preserve what I can, but I really need these guys to die quickly. Oh, that is. That's really good. So much for peace. Okay, so. These guys are all getting one shot. They're all pretty. pretty shockingly weak. Let's go with the lightning. Yes! Wow, okay, okay, that was too good. We're going to save here. Um, just because we had like a perfect run. Oh my god. Um, and we're gonna let these guys duke it out a few turns and hurt each other. Uh, but we also have people up here to deal with. At the same time, whilst that fight's happening, we need the Mind Flayer to die, and we need the Commander Zalk to die. We need one person to kind of just sneak up and be ready to touch the console. That's our victory condition for this whole area. Three hours saves coming later. Come on, show us how God... Yes, there we go. There's that godlike power I see. Oh, okay. We good. We good. We good. We good. We gotta save. We gotta pray that every attack... This is okay. As Lazel, okay, good. Lazel's fine. Uh, oh shit. Okay, Shatter, you get ready for things. Can I get that? Can I throw it? How far can I throw that? Or no. No. Uh, disengage. Huh. Come on, Assault. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Frick a duck, man. That was so difficult, chat. Holy crap. Holy shit. That was tough. Okay, it doesn't matter if she passes out here. We're gonna save. We're gonna save because we got here. We got to this point. We can finally, give in. we can finally leave this accursed place. Oh my God. It's been 3000 years. Ah, oh, we made it. After a metric butt ton of saves coming. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time.
make it. Oh, uh, we're gonna make it. We're terrible. But we have goodwill and intentions. We will be the hero. <laughs> we will touch that tentacle. <laughs> oh, go us, chat. We lived. We got everything. We have our cake. We, we, we can have our cake and eat it. We can, in fact, have our cake and eat it. My goodness. Ah, that is awesome. That is awesome. I can't believe we did that. The amount of safe scuffing is just so disgusting, though. <laughs> it's just so disgusting. The amount of... Just the raw amount of unapologetic safe scuffing. <sighs> but we're here. And that's all that matters really is that we 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 could have our cake and eat it. Yep. Mm hmm That's that's all that matters. <sighs> I'll just keep telling this myself at night. Yep. This is what I keep telling myself is that it matters and that it actually is worth it. Yup. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Uh, whoa, whoa. I am lost in the sauce chat. Anyway. Um, oh look, a ship, it's our ship. I'm gonna shut up now. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Okay, chat. So, we just crash landed. A mysterious force saved our life. We have no idea what's going on. We just crashed after the whole, the whole fight and everything. What would Alessandra do? She's a noble. She probably, she probably is smart enough to know. Well, I'm fine. I just woke up. I don't think she'll check herself for injuries. Jose so much um but uh, perhaps she'd want to know where she is in Faerun oh wherever could I be ha huh. where did we land the chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape you'll need to find a settlement or landmark and you'll need to do it quickly the tadpole is a death sentence and the clock is ticking you need a cure I must find a way to cure that parasite that we got. Oh, my name is not Alexander Astrope. <laughs> um. Oh, no. Mangled Fisher. Oh, is that Shadow? Here it is. She looks kind of alright. Like, oh, she's breathing. You see her chest going up and down. Okay. Oh, it's you. Uh, you good? You good, son? Uh, uh, wake her, I guess. Ew, tentacle. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Uh, doesn't matter. True. We made it. 
Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Um, I feel like I wouldn't really care because I was a noble. It's not really a gift thing for me to think about in that respect. Um, because I, I grew up as a Baldurin noble. Yeah. Um, uh, with a dragon for a parent. So it's kind of, you know, like, perspective. I really wouldn't have, like, that whole, no, like, uh, pride of being a gift in that way. Uh, do you have any idea where we could be, where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. Supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We mm. might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Yes. W we? You want to stay together? Oh, uh, uh, I suppose we, we can other, team up. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Uh, right, let's get moving. No, this is where we part ways. I mean, kind of contrary to what we wanted, we would One wanted thing, to stay as a group. Just before we go, right, I chat? wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Oh, you're most. I hope we have alleviated your presumptions uh, of our Githyanki appearance somewhat. What else is there around here? Is that a, a dragon wing? What is that? Is that a dragon wing? Nah, couldn't be. Surely not. No. Well, we have our cleric and we have a... Um, oh, we can level up. Yes, this means that we can put a level into the class we actually wanted. So, um, we want to become a level 9 wizard so that we can transform into a dragon. Yes. Ooh, meta magic. That's cool, but, uh, we... We don't want that. We want to multi-scale into wizardry. Harry Potter. Yes. Uh, ooh, there is the wave. Nice. So we can we can learn Thunder Wave, which is a very helpful spell. Uh, especially considering it's very close to being a dragon roar, the way that it works. It's pretty cool. In that respect. Is that invisibility? No, it's a minor illusion. Uh, I need, ooh, shocking grasp. Hmm, shocking. Uh, I kind of want to take away Acid Splash. Put that in. Take that off. Um. Yeah, we'll keep Ignis, I think. Or Ray. Ray of Poison's kind of alright. Um. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? We'll take off the fog. Uh, and we will have Thunder Wave. No, we want Thunder Wave. Oh, we already have Thunder Wave. Okay, uh, in which case... Fire? Or... Oh, Ice Knife is very helpful. Sleep and Magic Missile? Yes. Uh, hmm. Take that off. Put that on. Take that away. Ice Knife. Yeah, we're all in on intelligence and charisma. Int and riz. And we'll respec for that. Uh, once we get to withers. And for you, Shadowheart, you simply level up into cleric. Because once we get you high enough, we will get... Uh, what is it called? We get a thingy. Uh, Revify. We can just cast Revify instead of using Scroll of Revify. Which is so much more cost efficient when characters die. <laughs> yes. 
Do we still have that sword? I really need to make sure. Yes, we do. Good. And that will go straight to Lizelle once she is a high enough level. Oh, what is that? Brains. Hmm, brains, man. Anything Delicious. Um, fishy. Ooh, fish. Um, I guess we'll take the lot. Uh, I'm not quite a fan of raw Fresh fish, water. but uh, Alessandra needs to do what Alessandra needs to do. <laughs> Reminds me of when I was camping. Oh, a backpack. What does this guy got? Oh, a letter. Should we read it? Let's read it, chat. Uh, S-Y. I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again. And I keep on saying it. Till... And I'll keep on saying it till we're old and grey. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky. But so is staying here. The last few months have been hard. But there's... They're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without rest. Don't be late. Above Anna. Oh, Rip, dude. Now he's just dead. Because of the illithid crash. Hmm. That's actually tragic. What is this? Oh, we take the water. Oh? Weird flesh stumps growing into the ground? Going across the ground? That is nasty. Ooh, a door. Oh, what is that? Is that a thieves hideout or something? What is that? What is this? Oh, another. Another. Another! Oh, I can't. I can't unlock that just yet. We need a thieves tool. Or a lockpicking tool, I think. I want to save here, chat, because we have a fight ahead of us. Um, that is quite... It is quite uh, a challenging one if you mess it up. More of the mind flayers pets. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now, I know I say save often chat it's just best practice because like you very well easily die and have to redo things and pick up things and I'm not a fan of continually having to loot things it's very frustrating so once something is looted I just wanted to stay looted all right so the fight has started Vicious intellect still. devour best keep some distance or this will be a short fight you don't say we're just gonna try and murder this thing. Yep, one shot, beautiful. Love to see it, man. Oh, nice. We increase uh, your armor class as well. Which means if you guys come toward us and actually do land a hit, it's gonna hurt us a bit less. Oh. Why do we get Astro? Oh, because we're Give Yankee. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. That's actually very cool. So, to die. So, how are we going to do this, chat? We're going to ice knife. 85 to hit. Uh, what is that? 3 to 22. Uh, Thunder wave, 2 to 60. 1 to 12. I think we have a higher chance of killing this thing with an ice knife. Nice. Nice. Okay, that was a very good turn. It was a very good series of turns for us, chat. We are on top of things. Alright, so we see Shadowheart just channeling some amazing light. Just gonna bolt this thing, burn it alive. 95% shot. Imagine if we miss it. 95% though. <laughs> Could you imagine that, chat? Just imagine we casually miss it. 95% hit rate. <sighs> Wouldn't put it past the odds, honestly. Ooh, a brain. Brains, man. Delicious. Um, how much carry cap have I got left? Because, like, I would love to hoard these explodey barrel things. They are useful. 
Oh, simple toxin. I'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, oh, nice. That is handy dandy. Very fine and some good loot. How do we? Oh, you're just gonna climb up that. Okay. So, yeah, we're about to meet an iconic character. Um, absolute dashing. If I do say so myself, eyebrow raise. Um, Astarian. So I wonder who I'm going to like utilize in this. Cause it kind of, what? What are you doing? I kind of want to like. Stay idle. I, I don't know. Matter heart to talk to a starian, or if I want my character to talk to a starian and befriend him first. Hmm. I don't know. Never a dull moment. Oh, that is a Huey bear. One second. So I think that's the food arriving. And Huey is damn good at letting us know. So I think what we'll do is we'll recruit a star into our team. And then we'll see what I can do. I've been streaming for four hours, Chad. So let's get a star in. in. I think I'll go with my character. My character's a Gith Yankee noble. Um Could be fun. I think personality-wise, like a star in certainly would be quite a fun catch. A dealer? I don't know. Like, as far as, like, a character to befriend. Oh, there he is. My god. Alright. Hello there! Harry, oh, you don't look so good. I've got one of those brain right? things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Uh. Hmm. Easily stand back? Well, yes. We got magic. There. Can you see it? Uh, oh. Ow. My ears. My brain. Oh, well, that looks bad. Uh, that looks bad. Shh, oh, that shh, looks shh. bad. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck uh, of that yours. And you, keep your distance. No uh, need for this to get messy. Uh, I need her alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Uh, promises, promises. What but is this? I, I love I'm it. Afraid. I've never seen it. Because Shadowheart no. doesn't... It has, I've never seen Shadowheart have this dialogue with the Didn't Stein. I? Nod. Maybe we should headbutt him. I want to headbutt him <laughs> and take him by surprise. I want to headbutt. I must headbutt. Do we fail? Oh my god, we pass. First try. Holy shit. <laughs> you wretched little. Mind Guess by connecting our skulls together, we connected our minds together. <laughs> you try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. What was that? What's going on? Uh, it's the Byplay's web. It's connecting us. The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> apologies. Uh, apologies, Shepard, might have done the same thing. Uh, buh, 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 buh. What would my character pick? I'm good to see we're all caught up now. You better have more alternate. Nah, no, it's a bit too selfish. Let's to see we're all caught up now. Uh, I feel like my character would simply accept his apology and um, would my character have done the same though um i think my character would probably want to test someone to see if they're trustworthy so yeah i think <laughs> apology accepted a kindred spirit 
My name's Astarian. My character is high. Gate when those it's supposed to be a highly intelligent individual. They probably would have that form of paranoia to some degree. Um, da, 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 da. Tell him your name and your story. My, my. You've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Um, what would my character say? Uh, I know that we don't, well, my character would have picked up on the whole situation for what it is. Uh, yes, and they'll turn us into mind players. Turn my character into... wouldn't get that detail. <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. Yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it? We need to get rid of it. You know, uh, I we was might ready just to go this cut alone, to the chase. But maybe I think my character would cut to the chase and say, hey, come hang with us. We can probably idea. figure this all out together. And anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person Also, there's to that know. ambitious side that All she right. has. Maybe she might think about controlling the parasites. Lead on. The idea is a question her mind. Hmm? Now, assassin kind of character. He's very sneaky, beaky, stabby, stabby. Or shooty shooty from a hidden position, like a sniper, because he's a rogue. So he'll either stab you in the butt or shoot you in the butt. So, we have found the one and only Astarian, darling. Um, he is an amazing character. I, <laughs> I got a lot to say. Um, yeah, he said that. I think we will probably, probably put our characters about here. I'm just gonna quickly send them to an encampment and have them save at the encampment just for more role-playing perspectives. Um, yeah, just just from more of a role-playing point of view. Like, I guess you know we end stream with them chilling at at camp. That would probably probably make make some sense. Uh, at some stage, I'll get Withers. I think we'll get Withers next stream and respect my character's stats so that they're more hard focused on intelligence and charisma. Um, but yes, so, chat. That was the adventures today of Alessandra Astrape. Um, quite a very fun adventure today, I must say. Uh, we may return back next stream or more of uh, her story uh or we might go back and do elden ring and kill malekith finally it just depends how much practice i get this week um i am going to save and i'm going to change the menu now and we're gonna see who we can raid hey oh chat we had a fantastic time didn't we yes we did i had a beautifully fun time today as well um it's been a pleasure streaming today i love to do what i do for you all um my name is thinkifer and i'll be signing out but subscribe to the theory channel if you haven't already um uh subscribe at thinkifer on youtube we will be putting up so many more uh theories um and it's gonna be a lot more variety going forward like i've been talking about this a while uh, but I want to cover Elden Ring content. However, I really want to also cover Baldur's Gate 3. There is so much, so much rich, juicy lore in Baldur's Gate 3 um, as well. So, you know, there's so much. I already have a Shadowheart theory written up, actually. Subscribe to the Theory Channel and think of her for theory videos. Uh, subscribe to the Let's Play channel, Christopher, for Let's Play content. I will put up the replay for Baldur's Gate 3 probably on the YouTube channel 
uh, maybe today, actually. I haven't uploaded there in a while. Join the Discord server for um, a big brain funky time with our community. And you'll never miss a live stream, war theory video, or let's play upload. But chat, have yourselves a safe, fun, big brain funky day. And I will see you all in the next live stream, let's play, or theory video. Thank you for doing what you do, guys. And thank you for all the support in the community. Bye-bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye. Whoa!